coming off of that kind of injury, does that worry you at all? You know, you see your knee start to swell a little bit? Uh, not, no, not at all. I mean, uh, my trainer, uh, he told me that it was, uh, not, I mean, it was normal for people that was coming off ACL that uh, once you get back into football, you can't really uh, mimic what you actually do in it, like throughout the rehab. So now that I'm, you know, actually full go, uh, it's a lot of stuff that I got to get back used to and, and my knee got to get back used to. Where's your level of explosiveness? You practiced yesterday, you look like you made some nice plays, ran back a few catches. Uh, you said, what is my level of explosiveness? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess good. I mean, no, for you, I mean, are you, are you, are you? Oh, I feel like, I, I feel like I have some, still some room to improve. I mean, I feel like I'm, my first three steps, I feel like I need to improve in as far as just getting to my top speed as fast as possible. I think I need some improvement for sure. How's the competition been among the receiving core? It seems like it's pretty deep. Oh, it's very deep. I mean, with this offense, man, uh, we all know that we all have an opportunity to get, you know, touches in the game. So, I mean, the competition is amazing. I love it. Like, every day, you know, I know that I have to come and uh, play at the best of my ability and uh, compete and make plays or I will be back the ass quick. So, I mean, it's, it's every day knowing that I have to go in and, you know, prove myself. Who are some of the guys standing out? Ahmad seems like he's having a great camp. Who uh, are some of the guys standing out to you? Ahmad is definitely having a great camp. Uh, Chris Thompson, he's uh, he's definitely coming along. You know, Demarcus Robinson, he's uh, looking real good. He always make plays. Has CJ surprised you? Oh yeah, definitely the, the young guy. He's uh, he's really good um, coming in. Uh, he's kind of learning the outside position and the inside position. So I feel like he's uh, he's coming along real good too. There's some guys that come off ACLs and feel like they get faster. Do you feel like you can do that or that you are? Uh, I feel like I'm almost back to where I was. And I feel like I was pretty fast. So I feel like, yeah. <laughs> so you've had six uh, receiver coaches. What's, what's it been like working with Coach Leak? Uh, working with Coach Leak is, uh, it's been amazing. I mean, just, I mean, I always uh, grew up watching them play, you know, throughout the, all the glory days here in Florida and uh, just being in the meeting room with them and, uh, you know, seeing them every day and, you know, hearing this knowledge. I mean, because uh, when he first started playing football, a lot of people don't know that Co Coach Leak was, he learned to play wide receiver first before he played quarterback. So, I mean, he knows his stuff and he knows a lot about the position. So, I mean, he's definitely a great coach. You guys are real close in age. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. Uh, uh, I mean, I am turning 24 this year, so I don't, I don't know how old he is, but I'm pretty sure he's uh, pretty close. Does that help to have a guy that just – probably can relate to. Oh, it definitely there. helps a lot. I mean, it's nothing uh, against Coach Joker, you know, being him being kind of old, but it's nothing like having a guy that's kind of your age and know what you're going through, like, uh, mentally, physically. Like, he's uh, he's definitely a great guy. Does he still play the best ball on the field? Yeah, I feel <laughs> – I mean, nothing against Driscoll, but we, it's nothing like that Sparrow. <laughs>